Corn, soybeans, and wheat all in red on Thursday after the release of the latest supply demand report. Michelle Rook is back with more in Markets Now. Grains all lower on Thursday after the April was day. John Heinberg with Total Farm Marketing is back with us. John, really not a lot for the bulls in the WASD report, especially when it came to those South American numbers. What a disappointment. Even though analysts' expectations, as well as some of the you know, grain exchanges in Brazil and Argentina have brought those crops down, the USDA just kind of holds, uh, you know, basically holds serve here at this time frame. Did lower the Argentina crop by a million tons. You know, so there's still some room there, uh, obviously, for them to make some adjustments, at least right now, though. They just want to kind of hold hold place and uh, see if how things continue to develop. Up. I still think the planted acreage area or the planted area down there is one of those big question marks. Probably the main reason the USDA doesn't really want to make a move until they have a better grasp of where that is at harvest. Oh, let's talk about domestic numbers as well. We did get a cut in corn ending stocks by 50 million bushels, but the market was expecting a little bit more than that while we saw increases in ending stocks for both soybeans and wheat, didn't we? Nothing big for the bulls in that. I classified the corn report as relatively neutral. You go to the soybean side of the equation. That was disappointing seeing that 20, uh, 20 million bushels come off that export demand. Throw in there some movements on the residual side to get that extra carryover well above what the market was anticipating. But again, grain stocks, we found some extra bushels of, of soybeans out there. So that had to get worked into the balance sheet to some level. I think the surprise maybe in terms of the three grains was the was the 30 million bushel cut on feed usage but and the wheat market. You know, in terms of that, you know, but you got to understand, wheat's competing against a cheaper level of corn price right now. So it was not the best technical day on Thursday either for corn or beans with some new lows for the move, right? Yeah, again, the price action on Thursday was just kind of tough. You know, we actually had outside day trading ranges finishing towards the bottom of the range on the corn market. New low for the move in the soybean market. Looks like we broke some support or, you know, a couple of days ago there as well. You know, just right now, the funds are in control. The money flow is in control. If I'm somebody who's on the, wants to be a buyer of uh, any of these grains at this time frame, there's really no urgency here to step into this marketplace. And when you get that type of environment, the path of least resistance is still a slippery slope lower. Thanks for joining us, John Heinberg with Total Farm Marketing. We'll have more ag day. Tomorrow.